All right, so today we're gonna to talk about the Ranger. Is it good? Eh, it's all right. Not my favorite gun. I'll never use this gun. I used it for the review. I even went as far as to re-perk it to have uh, perfect perks and full blue rolls on every single perk. Uh, I didn't want to invest any heavier than that because it seems like a waste of time. Uh, if, if you don't get a good feeling uh, with a gun when it's full blue rolls with perfect perks, then uh, this is probably not the gun for you. And that's really the case with me. Uh, the Ranger is a burst semi-automatic weapon that fires highly accurate two-bullet burst, capable of dealing good damage at long range. Uh, it can throw lead downrange very, very quickly, but rewards careful aim with increased headshot damage. Okay. I guess that's true. Uh, this thing, you know, fires and bursts, so the fire rate is like up, up close to 10. Uh, it's like 3.33, or at least 3.31. Uh, because it fires in three shot, well, it's, it's a two bullet burst. That doesn't really make sense. Hmm. I feel like this this sprays more ammunition than that. Maybe not. Well, if that was the case, that means it actually has a fire rate of five, which is probably why this feels okay. Uh, a five between four and five for semi-automatic weapons feels not bad uh, any faster than that on a controller for clicking uh, feels pretty bad uh, if you're on a mouse and keyboard however you can click really really fast and not have any issues uh, with semi-automatic weapons I think because I'm on a controller I feel very opposed to semi-automatic weapons it just feels bad to be click 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 you know pulling that trigger over and over and over again um, unless you're getting some really really heavy beneficial results for your efforts I feel like this it's a very lacking experience to use a semi-automatic weapon. I've yet to find a semi-automatic weapon that really blows me away and makes me want to use it despite it being semi-automatic, and this is no exception. This is a classic weapon, comes with the original game, uh, so it's old and debatedly outdated. Uh, there are better weapons, even as far as semi-automatic weapons go. Um, so this one is very unimpressive. Uh, even from the classic set, I think people would use a Siege Breaker over the Ranger. Uh, Semi-automatic just feels bad. Uh, this gun does not compensate you with enough power to make the burst seem relevant. Using this gun felt... Eh, okay. Like, I was like, oh man, okay, I melted that blaster pretty fast. Okay, I melted that smasher pretty fast. That wasn't too bad, but... Not too bad is not too good. Like, I want to be impressed. Like, when I used a full blue roll tiger jaw, I was like, dang, man, this gun is sweet. That's a strong gun. That is a satisfying, rocking experience. You walk into battle and just lay waste. It's like, oh, man, feels spicy. It's a good gun. Stampede, good gun. Siege Breaker, you know, pretty good gun. I mean, it's not even my favorite gun. I mean, it's, it's completely overshadowed by better guns, but it's still a pretty good gun, right? Siege Breaker. Solid weapon. Uh, there's a lot of really solid weapons out there, and I just don't feel like this one is good enough. Um, or maybe it's just good enough, but it's not impressive. Uh, this one does not blow me away. Uh, I, I just feel like it's okay. It's just okay. It's, it's, not, it's not, not good enough to be impressive. It doesn't, it doesn't rock my world, and that's what I want from a gun. I want a gun to be like, dang, man, this gun feels awesome. This gun does not feel awesome to me. Uh, that two-shot burst is just like, eh, whatever. You know, the sound is very, you know, didn't do it for me. The gun, the feel of the gun didn't, the handling, it was okay. You know, nothing, nothing really jumped out at me. It's just a good, average, reliable gun. You know, accurate when you're not moving, when you're aiming down the sights. Uh, when you are moving down the sights, it's, you know, the bloom gets a little bit, you know, loses, loses your accuracy, you know, a little bit. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I'm just very underwhelmed. The, I, I think that the temperament of this video is very, very suiting to how you're going to feel using this gun. Eh, whatever. Just whatever. This gun's not garbage, but it's not, definitely not anywhere near top tier. It's just an eh, whatever, average gun that uh, I'll never use. 
because uh, I don't really love semi-automatic weapons. For those of you who like semi-automatic weapons, this gun might be pretty satisfying. You know, the headshot damage is pretty good. Uh, it's got a decent, you know, decent crit. Uh, it's got a, uh, you know, a good build, right? Crit rate, reload, uh, physical or energy, crit damage, damage to afflicted targets, causes affliction. You know, I got the best case scenario here, here right? You got, I got the, the affliction on, on it, so... You got your solid, solid damage bonuses. Um, if you were to upgrade the extra, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten extra levels to God roll this gun, uh, you know, that's a huge amount of bonus damage. And uh, yeah, yeah, I think you'd uh, you'd you'd probably be pretty satisfied with this weapon. But just know that this gun is completely overshadowed by literally any new gun that comes out uh, this is an old gun it's uh, it, it it didn't hold up Not, nothing does nothing no no old gun holds up against the new guns the new guns are better and better and better all the time that way people will keep using them uh, so this one just kind of fell into the shadows uh, it's a really easy gun to get so you I mean it's very likely you have a ranger with affliction on it so you could easily get the best version of this gun uh, but I think with a tiny bit of patience, uh, you could hold out for a much better, much more satisfying experience. So, I mean, that said, if you guys ever get a God Rolled weapon, send it my way. Because I would love to see if my opinion changes uh, with a fully God Rolled version of this gun with element energy and all of the rest of the perks exactly as you see here. So, yeah, but as it is... Um, I still don't think that this gun would impress all that much. Uh, it's just a, it's just a mediocre gun. So. Alright, so the Ranger, honestly, the Ranger feels really, really weak. It's not terrible, uh, but for, for being a, a burst weapon, I would expect it to hit a little bit harder. I don't know, it's not it's not terrible, I guess. If you were to, if you were to god roll this one, I have no doubt that this gun would feel absolutely beast. Just like most guns do. Um, but as far as um, other guns of its of its type. It just does it it doesn't feel it doesn't feel like it stacks up. It doesn't feel like it has enough damage for being a semi automatic weapon. Um, although, I don't know. It's very accurate for um, for at least the first few shots, especially if you're not moving. If you're not moving, if you're if you are moving, it loses its accuracy really, really quickly. If you're not moving, it uh, you know it's 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 laser beam accurate for at least the first few shots. Uh, 
that's not bad. Kind of an underwhelming gun. I think I'm I'm predisposed to uh, not loving weapons that are semi-automatic. Uh, I feel like there are fully automatic guns that have faster time to kill with just as much accuracy, and that there's there doesn't seem to be any real advantage to choosing this gun over a semi-automatic or over a fully automatic weapon. It's like I would expect that like a semi-automatic weapon to have some pretty significant advantages. Uh, and for this one, it's supposed to be, you know, a pretty, pretty, you know, significant headshot weapon. Uh, but honestly, it, it doesn't, it doesn't blow me away at all. Um, it's got pretty standard stats. The, uh, the fire rate feels a little bit high for, for being a semi-automatic as far as controllers go. Uh, controllers I find uh, feel better around four, around four shots per second. That feels like it's a it's a manageable amount of trigger pulling to damage output. Uh, when you're looking at a gun like this, this one has a 9.93 fire rate, uh, which you know doesn't feel. It feels like I don't know. I think it's also firing in bursts too, so it's a uh, kind of a misleading I don't actually feel like I'm losing all that much damage I don't know maybe I shouldn't be so critical of this gun um, the time to kill is not terrible it's not bad. I'm trying to determine whether or not I'm just hating on this gun because it's semi-automatic or because it just really feels lacking. Um, and then I'm also trying to determine whether or not it feels lacking because it's not god roll because it's all blue rolls instead of gold rolls. Um, this gun could have, you know, a good amount of extra damage. I mean, it drops a it drops a, a taker pretty fast. Drops a blaster pretty fast if you get some headshots into him. I don't know. All in all, very lacking. Lacking gun. Feels uh, very, very lacking. Always debating whether or not I even wanted to invest the resources into reperking this to have, you know, proper perks. But I felt like uh, I'd be doing this gun a disservice if I didn't give it at least that. So this is a fully blue rolled gun with perfect perks. Um, and honestly, it's okay. It's just okay. I'm underwhelmed. I think if this was uh, a fully god rolled gun, um, it it would probably be a pretty impressive weapon. But I still feel like uh, the semi-automatic is not for me. I feel like there's much much better guns in the game. Uh, this one, I, I, the best thing I can say about this is that uh, from a standstill uh, sniping perspective, this thing's really really accurate and it has a nice little tap. But uh, other than that, yeah, not really my gun. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like and subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and uh, comment down below if you'd uh, like me to cover any other, uh, any other reviews. All right, guys, catch you next time. So if you like this video, uh, come check us out on Twitch. Uh, we, we Twitch stream 15 to 24 hours a day, seven days a week, every single morning starting at 9 a.m. Uh, we'd really appreciate the support. Uh, we're working really hard to uh, grow the Twitch channel, so come and check us out. Come, uh, come help us grow and be part of Team Vash. Thanks, guys.